So, how many times have you driven along a particular stretch of road and been bemused by speed limits that constantly change for no apparent reason? Or, how many times have you driven along a road and not been quite certain what the maximum speed is? I imagine quite a few times. Fortunately then, Volvo has come up with a clever piece of technology that can help ensure you remain a law-abiding citizen. The system is called RSI, which in this case doesn't stand for repetitive strain injury, but roadside information. It works by using a camera mounted in the top of the windscreen, which scans the road ahead, trying to pick out road signs, and then it relays those to an instrument panel right ahead of you. Let's see if it works. The German car makers, Audi, BMW, Mercedes, all have similar technology available overseas. However, they haven't quite deemed it fit enough for Australian roads yet, but Volvo has taken a different view. They think that in conjunction with common sense thinking, it can be quite effective. And we're inclined to agree. So we're now coming up into an 80 zone, and there we go, 80 indicated on the display. Okay, so we're in an 80 zone, about to come into a 60. Bingo, we've got 60 come up on the display. Now we're traveling along at 50 kilometers an hour, but we've got a school zone sign coming up. Will it read that? It has got 40 in the readout, so that's good. However, this is the first example of where the system isn't yet infallible because we're actually out of school hours, but the system can't figure that out. So it still comes down to the driver having to understand what time of day it is. There are a couple of other flaws as well because it struggles to read the electronic signs overhead. And also if you're on the freeway, the system or the camera can pick up the exit ramp speed when you're going along at 110 and suggest that you should be doing 70, which is of course quite ridiculous. And if you're behind a bus like we are now, we're actually in an 80 km hour zone, but the camera can pick up the 40 km hour sign on the back of the bus, even if it has its on flashing, which isn't quite ideal. And you can see here that the little roadside display is flashing away, indicating that we're speeding. So to all those police officers, we are actually obeying the speed limit. The biggest downside, however, is that RSI is available only as part of an optional bundles package that costs $5,000. Still, despite its cost and the system's limitations, it's a technology that we'd rather have to help cut down on those speeding fines and help protect this special little card.